So tomorrow, myself and the guys from Team Wild are going pigeon shooting. Um, we're capturing it on film for the next uh, one of the upcoming editions of uh, Team Wild TV. Uh, we're going to do it slightly differently from, from usual. Steve and Keith are going to go and sit in a blind and shoot using an Armsan A612 semi-automatic shotgun over whirlies and dead bird cradles as normal. However, I'm going to be a bit sneakier. I'm going to set up in ambush and wait for the pigeons to fly into a nearby tree that's on the flight line into the field and I'm going to shoot them with this uh, Daystate Mark IV IS. Now the reason I'm going to do that is because we're shooting on rape. The birds won't necessarily come and land straight away. They like to fly in, sit in this oak tree that's on the flight line and just kind of have a look at what's going on before they decide to jump in for a bite. And I'm going to set myself up in a hide with an idle back chair and then hopefully pick a few off as they come in. We're just setting up some uh, some sneaky decoys uh, with a lofting kit. The six decoys are going to be hanging on hooks in the trees to kind of welcome the other pigeons in, make it look nice and safe for them. Uh, so to make sure that you can see what I'm seeing, uh, I'm going to set up my, uh, my scope with a camera. Now quite a few of you guys have done this already before, uh, so I just thought I'd show you the kit that I'm going to be using. Uh, anybody that's got a, a, a night sight will know there's two adapters in there to fit different size scopes. And I've also got a, this handy little Canon camcorder, nothing particularly special. In fact, the Sony one that I'm recording on at the moment I'd prefer to use because it's a lot smaller. But this, uh, this will still do the job. Um, so we've got the adapter from the, uh, from the night sight, plus a 37mm uh, lens hood which just screws into the back of this. So I'm going to get you up a little bit closer and let you see how I've fitted it all up. So as you can see, this is the, uh, the rubber camera adapter that fits over the scope. And ordinarily, you'd put the, uh, the night sight camera into this aperture here. But here I've got a, a lens hood adapter for, a, uh, for my camcorder. And I ordered this from a company called Jack the Hat, who are camcorder accessory specialists based up in Canberra. They've got several different sizes. Um, this one's a 37mm adapter to go with the Canon, although the Sony that I'm using also has a 30mm adapter, which is on the way. So I'm just going to use a bit of my magical electrician's tape to hold this in place. These, uh, these adapters do have a bit of a tendency to move on the rubber so that'll, that'll keep it in position. Now what I have to do now is screw this puppy on. Now I've already lined it up uh, but as you can see now it opens and I'll just give you a shot of the picture we've got on the other side. So this is kind of the final setup, and we'll just zoom in, and you can see that rather than looking through the eyepiece, I'll just end up looking through the screen. But that is what I'll be seeing, and hopefully that's what you'll be seeing. So just can nip outside now, get it on the range, and make sure I can group with it, which is kind of more important than how it looks. So what we're going to do now, we've just got the camera set up, let's just take a few shots at this target at 30 yards, so you can see what I'm going to see. So, here's the target at 30 yards. Now it's not particularly stable because I'm going to lean back to uh, accommodate the camera. But that disc is 25mm. I can get most of these in there at 30 yards. We should hit more, some, more than we miss. That's a little slip there.
10 shots all apart from that little flyer off to the left within that 25mm disc. Now that's kind of where you need to be. So I'm going to head over there, take a closer look and uh, see if we need to make any adjustments. So as you can see, at 30 yards I managed to group here um, 10 shots within about 20mm of each other. This disc, disc here is a 25mm uh, disc. If you can group tight in that over these sorts of distances that's absolutely fine. Now because of the, uh, the length of the camera I had to uh, kind of lean back on the idleback chair so it's not probably the most stable position. Obviously the idleback without this camera you can lean right into the rifle and it's perfect so although it's not ideal it's still it's still sol solid enough to get this nice tight group. So luckily we go out tomorrow we're going to do some pigeon shooting you're going to see exactly what it is that I'm seeing uh, and hopefully they're all going to be good clean kills. So now we're going to head back into the uh, into the gun room, into the armory, and have a look at the rest of the kit I'm going to be taking with me tomorrow. So as you've seen, the rifle shooting straight, um, straighter than I was expecting me to be able to shoot it. Uh, the idle bag works perfectly. Uh, so tomorrow when we when we get set up, I'm going to get a Deben um, blind in uh, Realtree AP. I cover that with lots of foliage from, from in and around uh, the, the area that we're sitting in. And then we're going to uh, get the idle back inside that. Uh, so shooting position is pretty stable. Camera's all set up now. You're going to see what I see. So uh, that's all pretty good. Now, how do we get the birds to come in? Well, we've got these flock coated uh, covered pigeon decoys, uh, which are pretty sweet. Now these would normally work uh, in and around the whirlies uh, on the rape. However, what David's done for me with these ones is he's created um, these special hanging uh, pigeons. So basically what we'll do, we've got some lofting poles, we should normally sit two pigeons on, but I want to dot a few more of these round in branches around the tree, make it really inviting for the pigeons flying in to Stephen Keith's decoys. So this is actually a, a dead bird cradle, and David has wrapped some lead, some roofing lead, around the bottom. So all they need to do is get the lofting pole underneath, hook him up on a branch, and then he'll just hang gently and hopefully sway a little bit in the wind. It's going to be irresistible. So as they come in, fly in, sit in the tree, I'll hopefully shoot them before they get down onto Stephen Key's decoys. So other than that, ram jacket and trousers from Deer Hunter, um, AP blind from, from Deben, Day State uh, Mark IV IS, Canon camera fitted to a, a light stream 4.5 to 14 by 44, and then hopefully a bucket load of pigeons, but we shall wait and see tomorrow.